Mickey's for Candy Company. Can I help you? John Prince is the candy man. The candy man. <laughs> and right now, he's taking candy orders. Gummy pizzas. That's actually one of our better selling items, actually. They're fun. It makes the world taste good. John is the third generation owner of Mickey's Port Candy Company. His grandfather, Ernest Prince, opened shop in 1927. It's now one of the oldest independently owned candy wholesalers in the country. What do you think kept you in business for 75 years? Well, from the start and to, to until today, we followed the same thing. We provide a good product service and we provide exemplary customer service. And uh, one of the slogans that we have on our website and one of our slogans for our business is that candy is what we deliver, but service is what we sell. And they sell all over the world, like candy corn to Ireland, patriotic marshmallow peeps to Vatican City, 10 pounds of Jolly Ranchers to Panama. Those are just a few examples of the huge assortment, including some pretty interesting novelties. I'm going to show you some of my personal favorites. Okay. One, <laughs> gummy pizza. <laughs> I have to say, ew. <laughs> you know, and the pieces are actually, uh, you take it out of the box, and you could actually have individual small little pieces. Oh, they do. It is a pizza. It's a whole round and pizza. And it comes in a little takeout container. Oh, my gosh. We sell a ton of them. They're very So it doesn't taste classic. like pizza? Oh, no. Okay. It tastes like Good. gummy. <laughs> but for the more discerning palate, we have okay. uh, sour gummy french fries. Oh, my. Oh, they look just like french fries. And they come in a little uh, french fry container. Isn't that funny? Depending on what you might need, we have, we have tacos, we have sea critters, we have geckos, and we have tangy tongues. Oh, i got to see the tongue. The oh tongue my is gosh. great. Oh, my. See, now I can... <laughs> The tongues are up. Uh, these are actually very popular. Um, they're just they're fun. I mean, one of the nice things about candy is that um, the people that are designing candy and inventing candy, right. it's, it, it's a pure novelty. It's a pure lo luxury product. So you yeah. can do some really funny, funny things. One of the uh, things that we're meticulous about at the Peaceful Candy is quality and freshness. We have approximately 26 to 2,800 different candy items, and that includes candy bars, ball candy, concession candy, fundraising candy. But one of the things that we are, again, meticulous about is ensuring that when customers purchase candy from us, they get only the freshest candy. McKee's Port Candy was among the first companies to distribute bulk candy, starting with Brock's in 1929, and it's been a sweet marriage. We do packaging under a private label of our own called Todd's. You've probably seen it it's in red and white bags. Or we do uh, packaging in custom labels. For example, when you go to a supermarket, and you see uh, their supermarket name, and it might be a product like Conversation Hearts or Jelly Hearts or whatnot, we actually will do the packaging for them. With plenty of sweet tooths, you would think candy is an easy sell. But the business has changed over the years. In the early days, this company originally sold to uh, pharmacies, little corner pharmacies, but now there are no corner pharmacies. And in my dad's genera generation, they sold to... Um, to mom and pop stores and to candy stores, but now, sadly, as we discussed earlier, there's very few candy stores and there's very few mom and pop stores. So my generation, we sold to, to we focused on supermarkets. We do a lot of bulk candy. We sell to some concession, um, we sell concession candy. Sometimes we sell to movie theaters. We sell to some convenience stores. And then, you know, we have a walk-in trade and we have our online trade. We have fundraising customers. Now you have to be much more creative and innovative. Today, the innovation is on the World Wide Web. The company launched its site in 1997, and today, CandyFavorites.com is America's biggest online candy store. The candy industry is changing. It's, uh, there's becoming less and less manufacturers, and a lot of the old classics are disappearing. But, they, as we saw earlier with the novelty candy and whatnot, I mean, it's, there's still innovations that are happening. And, and people seem to crave it. I, I think in times that are somewhat tenuous, as the times are now, people like to be able to have something that they can reach out to, that connects them to their past, that connects them to uh, a period of life when, when times are easier. And this is what connects them. Retro candy. Every generation has its favorites. We were asked so many times for retro candy mm -hmm. that we actually made lists of candies that all of the employees remembered when they were younger. And basically, they come in three different sizes, mm -hmm. small, medium, and extra large, which is massive. <laughs> and they include all of the things that you remember as a child, oh, candy yeah. buttons, 
uh, rock oh, crystals, I candy cigarettes, gold yeah. mine bubble gum. You remember these, the wax lips? Oh yeah. They were totally designed by our people mm -hmm. who remembered candies they loved as a kid. Oh, and yeah. it actually led to arguments. People said, well, we didn't have that when I was growing up. And I said, well, look, I, I grew up in the 70s. What do I know about candy? Right. But all of these are classic retro candies. Oh, wow. It is. It's like memories in a box. Sure. I remember, oh gosh, sugar daddies. Classics. Then there's something not so classic. Oh, is this a representation of what's in there? Are there like you grubs, got it. chocolate covered grubs and cr crickets? Grubs, <laughs> like, like, they, uh, <laughs> like the ones like that grub? affect the, uh, the yard. <laughs> well, I, you know, that, I have no problem covering those in chocolate, but I wouldn't want to eat them. From insects to nostalgia to novelties. These are more than just confections. It's fun because uh, we just sell such unique things. I mean, they're things that are designed just to bring joy, to bring happiness. It's a, yeah, um, it's fun. It's what makes can candy has always been a great industry because you're not selling something that you know. You know that your product's not going to change the world, but it might make a, a difference for a minute, maybe a second, or for whatever time period right. it does. It's a quick fix. Bye, bye.